everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed that little cozy intro. Today we're in my bedroom, um, I'm chilling out today, and we are gonna start getting my collection ready for fall. But I do like to intentionally, every season, have the perfumes that I wanna try to wear, and um, give them fair wear, you know, since I have such a big collection. Plus, I kinda wanna do a project pan this year, so I'm thinking of, well, I'll explain it as we go. Anyway. This is the first drawer in my collection. All of these over here on the right are my little samples. And I've actually already chosen five samples that I wanna work through um, from October, which is in a couple days, to the end of 2021. So the five sample sizes I wanna work through are the Parfum de Marly Pegasus. This is great. Um, this is often compared to um, Dior Hypnotic Poison, but like the masculine version, but I like to wear cologne, so I want to work through that. I got this one from Fragrance Buy in a travel set. Um, clean Skin. This came in a little perfume set for clean perfumes that my uh, niece and my sister-in-law got me for my birthday or for Christmas. Yeah, for Christmas. And it's just a nice, clean, soapy, skin-smelling scent. So I think this is one on days when I don't wanna wear something heavy or days like today when it's 90 something in September in LA because the weather does fluctuate, this will be useful. Mancera, I believe this is chocolate, chocolate greedy. I believe that's what that is. Anyway, it's a chocolate fragrance. I wanna try and get some use out of it and see how I feel about wearing chocolate. I did get a fair amount of use out of it last year, so I don't, see I don't foresee it being a problem getting through this then Gabriela Chiefo Latte d'Oro this has a strong milk note um, I smelled it in a blind buys where, where I ordered perfume based on just the name and not knowing anything else about it and I know latte means milk in Italian and I love gourmand uh, fragrances so this one reminds me of the holidays. Actually, the first time I smelled it, I started to tear up because it reminds me of um, the holidays in my old house where I grew up. So this is a special fragrance and I have, I don't know if you can see, about that much left. So I'll probably also finish this before the new year. And then, uh, this is a scent bird fragrance, Versace Vanitas. I haven't used this in a couple years and I like it. It's just very loud. So it's not, you know, the most unique fragrance and it's not the most me fragrance, but I do like it and I like what it evokes from me. It makes me feel powerful and loud and strong. So I do want to use that up. And I have quite a bit left. Um, since it is such a strong fragrance, I doubt I'll use it by the end of the year, but I want to intentionally put some use into that. So as far as what I'm putting away, Lacoste Sparkling, that's summertime spring summer daisy love oh so sweet love this but i'm gonna save it for spring 901 by bon parfumeur this is really good i might this smells kind of like um uh shaving cream so it's not very me but maybe i'll see if i can gift it to someone i don't know if i don't know we'll see i'm not gonna wear this this winter though actually it does smell really good um i have mancera rose vanille I could bring that out, but I think I'll maybe wait until the new year around Valentine's Day when I'll bring out my rose scents. I think I'll do that. Um, Red Roses, Joe Malone, gonna save that. Tom Ford, Oud Wood, I just haven't been into that. I don't really know why I got it. Majesty by, I can't remember this brand, but Majesty, I'm gonna save it. Juliet has a gun, Moscow Mule. This has a nice lime and ginger combination like a Moscow Mule. So I'm gonna save this for when it's colder going into spring. I, I feel like this is great for March. I'm gonna save that. I have Bold Soul and Merry Maker by uh, Pin Rose. Merry Maker is a great one. Ah, oh, Bold Soul is really good. Okay, I'm gonna put Bold Soul off to the side. I believe this is raspberry or blackberry. It's a sweet berry scent. And it's just super, super good and feminine and sexy. So I'm going to put this to the side because this might be a contender. Um, Rose 31 Le Labo. 
not a huge fan of this really so next time Aubrey if you're watching my video next time you come to LA you're taking this with you because I know you love this one okay then we have okay so Narciso this is a black one I can't remember exactly which one this is but this is what it looks like I don't know how much I've used of it I bought this in Europe years ago in Austria and um I mentioned I had some like weird memories associated with it or I just like wore it in a weird time a transitional time in my life but now I'm over that and I want to bring this fragrance out again so I'm gonna try to get some good use out of this my voice is tired I need to calm down and speak a little quieter the life of being a singer a couple options I have Michael Malul citizen Jack open road this is really nice and clean but I think I might save this for a little bit later. Um, Michael Malul Black Tie. That's really good too. But again, I think I'm going to save that because I have one that is more holiday-ish from Michael Malul. But... Fun fact, I have 20% off Michael Malul all the fragrances. Use code GABRIELLA20, I'll link it down below, uh, Michael Malul's website. But Black Tie was actually formulated by the person who created a Le Labo Santal 33. No big deal, so check it out, that's a great one. I have a review on my channel. Um, Lord of Misrule by Lush. I feel like I've gotta include this because it's gonna be holiday time. So I'm gonna put that one off to the side. Um, Oud Bouquet by Lancome, love this fragrance. This has three different types of wood and rose praline. Again, it doesn't really get that cold in LA for too long, but I just love this fragrance. It's just so fall winter to me, so I'm gonna consider that. Instant Crush by Mancera, one of my signature fragrances. I absolutely love this, one of the sexiest smells I've ever smelled. Um, you will get an instant crush on whoever's wearing this, so that's definitely being considered. And Montal Oud Lavender. I do love to wear this in the winter. It reminds me of when I was working in Beverly Hills in the winter time, and I think I'm gonna be working there again this year, so we'll see. This is going off to the side. All right, I've just grabbed a couple perfumes from my shelf. Sun Saint by Pinrose. That's going away because this is like lime and coconut. I mean, it's so good, but it's not... Not the season right now. Oisho One, um, if you want a dupe for that, because I don't think it's available anymore and I talk about it all the time, Michael Malul Bali, amazing. And this smells like Santal 33. Like, don't ever spend your, I don't know, that's just me. Unless you, Santal 33 is louder, but this is exactly what I get from Santal 33. And it's like half the price. Also, if you want a, candle that smells exactly like Santal 33 the Labo candles I'll link it down below it's amazing um, but this is newer to me so I do want to maybe get some use out of this one so I will put this one aside for fall we shall see but it's a contender intense so iris by Montal this is spring summer to me I love this I hate to put it away because look how beautiful but it's not it's not fall and since I live in LA and um, the weather is just not always very fallish. I do use fragrance as a way to feel in the fall spirit. So, um, pink sugar aquilina. No, I think I think I'll bring this out around Valentine's Day maybe. Michael Malul 173 candy. This is a nice, sweet fragrance. This is a good date night, sexy one. This is a contender. I'm gonna put this away. All right, we filled up this drawer. I'm gonna put it away. All right, got another box from my shelf. So, uh, Rêve d'Enfini by Lalique. This is a giggle in a bottle, I call it. It's like champagne. It reminds me of a Peche Royale, like peach and champagne. This is not fall for me, so this is going away, but I love it. It's a beautiful bridal scent as well, if you're looking for a bridal scent. Brainiac by Good Chemistry. This is an awesome fall scent. I used to wear this, uh, I wore this in Utah when I was working there in the fall, so it brings back a lot of memories. Um, I'd like to get some use out of this, so I'll put it off to the side. 
Um, Hypnotic Poison Dior Eau de Parfum. Why did I say Eau de Parfum? Sometimes I have to turn on my French brain. Hypnotic Poison by Dior Eau de Parfum. Crazy good. Or it's a contender. Britney Spears Private Show. I think this has like caramel and what else? It's sweet. I think it has a cotton candy note. It's good. You know, I'd like to try and get some use out of it, so I will put it off to the side. Um, Michael Malou Bloom. This is floral, so this is springtime to me. Fleur d'Oranger by Soli Notes. Orange Blossom is not fall to me. Ellis Brooklyn B. Eau de Parfum. Oh, wow, that was English and French. Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. This is really good. This is like honey. This could be nice for cold weather because it's too sticky for spring and summer. So I should probably get some use out of it now. It's also a beautiful bottle. I'll put it off to the side. 402 Bon Parfumeur Vanille uh, Caramel and Santal. This is good, but I have some body sprays that are similar that I want to finish up. So I'm going to put this one away for this season. Um, Vanilla Bourbon by uh, Mix Bar from Target. This is really good. This is going off to the side for consideration. Hugo Boss, The Scent, Private Accord. Orange and Chocolate, so good. Um, not a lot of staying power, but I'd like to get some use out of it. Plus it's small, so good for carrying around. So that will be in consideration. Bold Soul, yes, we already said that, okay. Black Perfecto by La Petite Robe Noire Guerlain. This is a cherry, a dark black cherry scent. Actually, I wore this the other day. This might be nice. I like this bottle a lot. I'm going to put it off to the side. Um, Katara Michael Malul. This is like one of my perfect everyday scents. This is just so good. It'll be, it's a great gift. It actually reminds me of this one, but it's less cherry, like this is black cherry, more syrupy and more powdery. It has a more mature Guerlain finish. This is brighter and cheerier. I'm going to save this for transitioning into spring. Coach Signature, this is floral. Definitely not for fall and winter, but I do love it so much. Chloe, not a huge fan of this in general, no. Aqua di Gio, summery watery, fresh, not for fall, winter. We have another Bon Parfumeur. This one has Neroli, Jasmine, and Amber. Uh, no, that's good for spring. Um, Daisy, Marc Jacobs, Twinkle. Uh, no, that's spring. Spring. Uh, we have Carnal Flower by Frédéric Mal. Mm, this is springtime to me, but like springtime in New York. It's, it's hard for me to wear this in LA because when it gets too hot, it's way too sticky and like uh, it just overpowers. But when it's cold in LA, it's winter time and this isn't winter, it's floral. So when, if I live outside of LA soon, maybe for work, I can wear this in the wet springtime. Prada Candy Gloss, this is cherry as well. No, this is too bright for fall winter. Aqua di Parma Magnolia Nobile, no too cheery and citrusy. This is uh, something that I got in a box from when I worked with um, Cosmopolitan, I think. This is the Eau de Parfum called Eau de Juice. It's really hard to spray. It smells okay, I think, but it's just so hard to spray, but it's a really cute bottle. I'll keep it, but I don't know. Okay, this is Armani Code Luna. This one is Orange Blossom, I believe. No, this is fresh and, and it has a yeah, it has a bright sort of citrusy, fresh vibe. This is like springtime to me as well, so this is going away. Um, Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. This is nice, but it's very, very white floral, and I, it's not very fallish. It is good, though. It may be in the running because it's a nice, it's a heavier floral, so it's nice to wear when it's cold. Um, Banana Republic Gardenia and Cardamom. Since I already have Gucci Bloom, I'm gonna put this one away. Um, Bill Blast Nude, this is a nice vintage perfume. There's something a little baby doll head about it, a little bit plasticky, which is why I bought it. I'll save this, this is a contender. Michael Kors Wonderlust, this is really nice, almond milk, um, but it's, it's kind of summery, warm weather to me, vacation, so as much as I love it, I have to give it a rest. Michael Malul Nightfall. 
this is this is for those juicy couture lovers this is really flirty really like sexy um but i do again i feel like i have some other perfumes that have a similar vibe that really girly sweet sexy so hmm okay it can be a contender for now it's really good also by the way uh some of these fragrances i will be selling um because there are some definitely that i need to declutter i also have a lot of clothes that i'm going to be selling so if you are a size two to four small to medium shoe size eight and a half to nine and a half jeans 26 27 check out my instagram uh gimme gobby's closet that is where i sell my perfumes and my clothes so check it out um bulgari petit de maman eau de toilette this is really good baby powdery it's springtime because it reminds me of babies and newborns and all of that so i'm gonna put that away um ralph lauren blue this is nice and fresh and i think this is classy spring summer so i'm gonna put that away pinrose secret genius one of my all-time favorite perfumes you have to try it. It is, it will beat out most of your favorite warm skin like gourmandy sexy scents. So this has to at least be a contender because it is just so good. Okay, Ooh. we have one of the Hane Mori butterflies. This is the Eau de Parfum. I think it's the blue butterfly. I first started to wear this when I um, moved to LA. It was one of the first perfumes I ever bought in LA. So this will be a contender. It does have a vintage smell. I love it. And I'm going to save this Petite Robe Noir for Valentine's Day springtime because of that cherry note. It's just juicy. And Black Panther. This is from Miniso. Like I think Daiso, but like a version of Daiso if you know that Japanese dollar store. This smells so good. So good. They had a Marvel collection. This was $5. $5 magnetic perfume it's so good so this is definitely in the running for fall okay i'm gonna take a sip of my coffee time to enjoy right why did i make it if i'm not enjoying it okay now for the final box okay i'm i'm moving things around from box to box so i'm just gonna say the nukes prodigieux le parfum that is going away because that is summertime elegant suntan oil. Um, Fig and Lotus Flower Gel Malone. This is springtime, rainy springtime perfection, so it's going away. Okay, I have two perfumes where I don't know where they are right now. Well, I do, one of them I do. BDK Gris Charnel, that is definitely in the lineup for fall. It's gotta be, it's so good. Um, it's like smoky and sexy and sweet. And then Britney Spears Fantasy, I don't know where it is. So that's also in the lineup because I'm actually starting to be obsessed with it. Um, my camera's about to die, I gotta charge it. So let me charge it and then we will get back to this final box. Okay, all right, I'm back. Hopefully my camera stays alive. We have the last box and some others here that I have left out. So, um, what is currently in this box is stuff that I know that I'm not using this season. Um, this is Mugler Angel Muse. This, I think, has chocolate and passion fruit. It's just too bright for fall. Um, Anne Klein, Love Anne. It's too floral. It's not very unique to me. And in general, I'm not a huge fan. Um, Cloud Musk. This is great from Mix Bar, but... Um, it's not that heavy, so I'm like, why not go with something a little heavier? If I'm gonna have my BDK Gris Charnel, then I don't need something like Cloud Musk, but it is really good. Flower Bomb, um, I will bring that out probably in the new year. It's just floral, you know, why not play with something else? My Lady, this is from, um, Mini So. This is just also very floral skin-like, so, you know, I want to go a little heavier for fall. Um, another Merry Maker by Pinrose. Love this. And this is, this is really nice for the holidays, nice and fresh. But for now, for now I'm going to put it away. I may have a craving for it later. Um, my Roger Gaillet Bois d'Orange, or Bois d'Orange. This is Orange Blossom, so I don't need it. Another Bold Soul. This one is personalized with a picture of me and my mom on it from Pinrose. If you guys are interested in getting anything from Pinrose, I have a link down below. It would mean a lot if you used it. Um, Angel Eau Croisière Eau de Toilette. This is beautiful, but this is summery. I mean, the bottle is beautiful. 
The fragrance is, oh, oh, I think that actually might be really good for fall. You know when you smell something in a certain season and it, and then you're smelling it in the context of a different season and it's actually really good? Okay, I want to consider this for fall. Guerlain Insolence, you know this is like my signature, my baby, but I don't know if I want to wear violet in the fall right now. I'm really trying to embrace the spooky season, so I'm going to save her for elegant New Year times. Uh, Etalie d'Orange Jasmine Cigarette. This is a jasmine and cigarette perfume. This is springtime to me or European travel. It's like very weird. It's not that I regret buying it, but it's like... I don't know, the balance of jasmine, it's, it's, it's just very, it's just a very unique fragrance. I don't think I'm going to be reaching for it that much in the fall. Um, this is a Guerlain Elixir Charnel Floral Romantique. It's just very floral. I think it also might slightly be going bad. I don't know. I really love it though, but it's just very spring. Chanel 1932. Chanel to me, this one isn't... This one isn't fall, winter. This is spring, summer. Elegant. Van Cleef and Arpels California Rêverie. This is just Frangipani summertime floral beauty. So it's not for this time of year, but it's beautiful. Three of my Rojas. I have Elixir Creation E, which I need to... The cap is coming off because I lost part of it. But these are just cheery and, and um, too light for the season. Reckless. This is really heavy on the Neroli. This is, or Orange Blossom, I can't remember which. But it's really, really good. But I'm going to save it. Am I? Now that I'm smelling it in the context, okay, that will also be up for consideration. And don't even look. These are my body sprays over here. We're going to do a, a different video about mists and body sprays. But I want to narrow it down to 10 perfumes that I'm going to use this season. So I can really make a dent in some of them. So I'm going to bring you closer and we're going to go through these and narrow it down. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Found my little Britney Spears fantasy. <sighs> so let me think about for sure's. Well, I have this Zoella Sweet Inspirations that I really just want to use up. I feel like I can throw it in my bag for rehearsals or performances. So this is going to be one of them. And once I run out of this, then I'll, I'll replace it with something else. So that's going in there. I don't have much of that left, as you can see. It's good, but it doesn't last long at all. But it is nice to wear, like, after the gym or whatever. Okay, so that's one. I would like to get use out of at least one of my Rojas. 51. Hmm. What about Danger? Danger really reminds me of some of the Guerlain fragrances I have. It's, it's quite powdery. So I think actually this is very bright, this Eau Croisière. So I am going to save this for spring and summer. It's, it's nice, but it's just, it's just very, um, I don't know, just very citrusy, bright, juicy. So I'm going to save that. Um, ugh, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Have to have that one. It's like baby doll head plasticky goodness. Uh, uh, also licorice. This is the Eau de Parfum. I'm, I got quite a bit of use out of this last year, and I just really love this. So that's going to be number two. Gucci Bloom, I think I can put away since I have all these other options. I did wear Gucci Bloom a lot the past six months. Um, oh, Magnolia Nobile. I don't know why this is still out here. I'm not going to be using that one. Um, I have found myself reaching for Samsara, but I think Danger sort of reminds me of it. Yeah. I would say these are quite similar in, in the sense that they're both very powdery to me. This might also have sandalwood. This is sandalwood, but it's very Guerlain sandalwood. It's not like Santal 33 at all. It's very, very powdery and smells very, very sort of vintage. Um, I just do think this is a beautiful bottle for fall. I do want to get some use out of my... Oh, shoot. I don't know what to choose. I'm going to put Reckless array away because I don't know... I don't feel like wearing Orange Blossom very much in the fall um cinema by Yves Saint Laurent this one is really good I'm gonna save this one. Oh, what did I get on this bottle this um I found out about this through my best friend Bernadette she wore this I don't know if she still does but when she lived in San Francisco and it just reminds me of her and I'm gonna use that it's a really nice sort of vintagey vanilla um secret genius by Pinrose 
Yeah, I think I gotta keep Secret Genius. Warm and delicious. That's really good. And nice, look at all these. These are pretty small. All the ones that I'm choosing to keep are pretty small and nice for travel. Since I already have that vanilla, I can put Sweet Dreams away by Anna Sui. That's a nice one, but um, mm -mm -mm. since I already have Cinema, I'm gonna put away my Nude by Bill Blast because it's just a similar vintage-y vintage vibe. Um, is there anything else that's similar? Oh, my Organza by Givenchy. That has gotten a lot of good use. Can I use this one up? I don't think I can use it up by the end of the year, but I'd like to continue putting a dent in this one, I think. But these two, I'm going to, mm, that's a hard decision. Okay, I'm going to throw it back in there. Private show Britney Spears. I think I want to keep putting a dent. No. What do I want to do? It does smell a lot like fantasy. I'm going to keep it because I need a, a flirty flirty one in there. So I'm going to keep private show in there. But fantasy has been nice when I've been going out. I can throw it in my purse. So maybe I'll include that too. Six. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to put Samsara away because we have cinema, which is quite powdery. <sighs> Givenchy Hot Couture. This is a raspberry one, but it's like raspberry and cigarettes. There's something nice about it, but I might save that. <sighs> oh, this is hard. Okay, mm, I'm not going to wear a good chemistry brainiac simply because right now I don't feel that excited to wear it. I think I might need a little more time, time away from it. Okay, narrowing it down. Ish. Tonka, Soli Notes. I'm going to wait for this one. You know, compared to other things, I'm not that excited about it right now, so I'm going to save it. It is good, but I don't need it. Vanilla Bourbon, this is just easy, sexy and I would like to put a dent in this. So that's by Mix Bar, Vanilla Bourbon. Um, candy, I already have my Britney Spears ones. This is Michael Malul, so I'm gonna put this away. I hardly have any room in this box. I have to, like, I know it looks bad. I'm stacking on top, but I have three more options. Oh my goodness. Okay, 51, I'm not super psyched about wearing that right now, so I'm gonna put that away. Dolce & Gabbana Entense, this is a great fall winter one, but I already have a similar vibe with Hypnotic Poison, so I'm going to put it away. Oisho 1, I'm not that psyched to wear that right now. It's I wear it every fall, winter, so I'm going to give it a break. Um, I need a sip of my coffee. See, this is really hard for me because I'm not used to working with less. And yeah, I don't have to. I mean, part of the joy of having a big collection is you know, using all your fragrances, but sometimes I just, I want to be able to go through a perfume in the next year. Like, I want to finish something. I just finished Ariana Grande Cloud. I'm proud of that. But, you know, my collection keeps growing and I don't finish anything off. So in that sense, I should probably include Givenchy Organza because it's a pretty significant dent for me. Okay, I'm going to put Black Widow away. This is from Miniso. This is a Black Widow Marvel perfume. It's good, but... I can put it away. Um, Metal Rain, this is a nice masculine one. Oh, this is really good. I'm gonna sit with this and I will let you know my final decisions, because this is really hard. I love you guys. This video is sponsored by My Shiny Forehead. Thank you so much for collaborating with me on this video. No, but um, I'm about to go work out, um, so I charge my camera just enough so I could film this. I've narrowed it down. It's painful, but here we go. Here are the 10 perfumes, not including body mists, because again, that's gonna be a different video. Get out of the shot. Um, the 10 perfumes that I'm gonna be wearing, or hopefully trying to do this, <sighs> can I do this? Through the end of 2021. All right, Britney Spears Fantasy, small bottle, great going out scent, fits in my purse. I get complimented, complimented on it all the time. Um, and good for, did I already say for travel? Because I anticipate traveling a lot from now to the end of the year. So, convenient. Pinrose Secret Genius. Warm, delicious, like a luxury cashmere sweater that you just want to cuddle up in. And Twinkle Lights and Mason Jars. And Pumpkin Spice Lattes, okay? It doesn't smell like one, but... It's the most cozy vibes perfume ever. So, Pinrose Secret Genius is number two. Number three is in my car right now, but it is BDK Gris Charnel. I know I shouldn't have left it in my car, but I accidentally did. Smoky, delicious, 
sexy, like jaw dropping. Has to be in there. Um, Lush Lord of Misrule is number four. Yeah, this is um, vanilla, black pepper, patchouli. This is very, very, very spicy. Like if you wear too much, honestly, you'd probably start sneezing. But I need to get some use out of it for the holiday season. I can see how I feel. And then if I don't, they really put the label on there crooked, geez. Um, if I don't like wearing it, I feel like, like with leather jackets, it's gonna be great. Otherwise, I'll start using it as like a room spray during the holiday time, but I want to give it its fair chance. So Lord of Misrule by Lush. Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. I know I put this one away, but honestly, I love reaching for this. I think it also just has to do with the red bottle. It's just empowering. And I realized by looking at my lineup that I needed a floral one in case I really want to like break out of this warm stuff. Um, so I, I gave myself a nice floral. That's number five. Number six is Mancera Instant Crush. This is another jaw dropper. This is louder than BDK Gris Charnel. Also not similar in any way, but like a jaw dropper just like that one. This one is like clothes are falling off. That's how good this is. Has to be in there. I have the Narciso. I want to use this mostly because I want to see if I can... I don't know how much is left. I've had it for like five years. I want to see how much I can use of it. So I'm ready to bring that one out. Um, number eight is Hugo Boss. I put this in also because I want to continue making a dent on this. I've got to work on the ones I already have a dent on if I ever want to get progress. So it doesn't last that long, but again, small, friendly for travel. I'm pretty sure this can go in a carry on. This looks, what is this, like 50 mils? 30 mil. So this can travel, no problem. Most of these actually can, which is great. Dior Hypnotic Poison, love this. Oh, it's so good, send chills down my spine. And Zoella Sweet Inspirations, The bot technically this is a body mist, but because it's in glass, I'm putting it in the perfume video. I want to use this up. So that's my lineup for, um, for fall into the end of 2021. We'll see if I stick with this, I would like to. Let me know what you're wearing, uh, if you've created a little capsule for your perfumes for this season, the next couple months, let me know. And uh, good luck to us all making dents in our collections. Talk to you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Mwah! Bye guys.